Shopping for groceries, you get your change back. But you've forgotten your pants at home. What to do? I'll tell you what to do. Take the coin, rub it into your elbow like... Oh, sorry, turned it the wrong way around. Rub the coin into your elbow like this, and voila! Human piggy bank. When you need the money back, just pull the skin. Like, oh, sorry, that's where you put them in. This is where you pull them out again. Oh, that hurts a little bit. Makes perfect sense! Hello and welcome to COVID Magic Camp. My name's Kim Anderson and today I'll teach you the coin in the elbow trick or the human piggy bank as I like to call it. This is one of the very first magic tricks that I ever saw as a small kid. My granddad showed it to me and he also taught it to me originally. Uh, this is uh, an amazing little piece of magic that uh, kids and adults really like when performed correctly. So what you need is a coin, two elbows and let's get into it. So, depending on the size of your hands, if you're a kid or an adult or, or whatnot, um, the coin size matters a little bit. So, if you're if you have small hands, go for a smaller coin. If you uh, have like really big shovel hands like me, go for a larger coin. Uh, the only reason for that is it's uh, easier to hide it and maneuver the coin uh, if you have the right size of coin for your hand. Please take your coin at your fingertips of your dominant hand. Okay. And now, what you want to do is you want to lift your left hand. If let, I'm right-handed, so. I'll, uh, uh, I'll act as if we're all right-handed in the world right now, if not just to reverse it. But So I'll take my left empty hand and I'll lift up my elbow um, to, to about this height. And then if you look at my, my arm, my, my left hand touches my neck. And don't give it like a, a huge slap like this, because two things, they'll hear you slap your neck, that's a bad thing. And secondly, you get a, like a red mark, so don't do that. But I put my hand up like this. And the reason for doing this right now is to get people accustomed to me holding my arm like this, because it's a really awkward position. It's like that. I don't know what this is. But it's the most fun I've had all day. Make people comfortable with you standing like this. Okay. And in a moment, that's where the secret lies. So start doing this. Take the coin by your fingertips and then cover most of the coin, leaving a little bit of it visible and rub your elbow like this and say, I'm rubbing the coin into my elbow and then suddenly stop as if you realize something. Take the coin out and then what I, I'll show you in real time what I do and then I say, oh, it's turned the wrong way around, just a second. And then I do this and that's where the secret happened. Okay, so now the coin is up here. This is a very magical thing. Don't expose it here after doing this, but but this is a very, very strong moment because you're you're ahead of the audience, ahead of the, the people you're performing for. Right now, they think the coin is in your right hand, but let me show you how I do this. So I rub the coin and then I say, oh, the coin, is facing the wrong direction or, or it was the wrong, wrong way around, something like that. But I don't say it as part of my patter. Uh, I, I just say, sort of like saying it to myself. I just go, so I rub the coin into my elbow. Uh, oh, sorry, the wrong way around, like this. So this was the move and this was my way of, of, uh, of acting it out. So it's just like something I, I just throw away, like, oh, so it turned the wrong, wrong way around. Stuff like that happens, you know, like when you put a USB cable in, it's always the wrong way around. It's just like a natural thing, it happens. Okay, so I rub the coin, and then what happens is I say, oh, wrong way around, and then I put the coin down, uh, hold, hold my hand like this, but fingertips facing upwards, or finger, uh, palm, palm facing upwards, and then my left hand goes over and I grab the coin with all of my fingers and my thumb, and I, I make sure to cover, to cover the whole coin with my fingers here, okay? And my thumb on top of it. Then I turn it over, and then my right hand is apparently going to do the same thing of lifting the coin up. And this is a fun thing, because if you did this in real life, the coin wouldn't be turned around. It would be the exact same orientation as, as it was before, but that's a completely different fun thing that I laugh at in my own head, because I'm very lonely these days. Um, so, grab the coin like this with my left hand for real, and then I, go down to grab the coin like this, but in reality, my thumb of the left hand is still on top of the coin. So my right hand just slaps down and I act as if I take the coin. So I just boom. And as I do this, my left hand immediately goes to my neck because I want to move my elbow up again. So this is just a, in real time, it looks like, uh, oh, wrong way around. Okay, so that's the thing. Practice this because it's, it's like a choreographed movement, but done correctly and at speed, uh, this will fly completely by. No one will see anything. So rub, oh, wrong way around, sorry, like this. 
two things to make sure of here. Don't do this when when you do. Oh, several things actually. But when you when you pretend to take the coin, don't hold your left hand out flat so people can accidentally see the coin. You want to go boop, and as soon as your hand uh, pretends to pick up the coin, this hand uh, tilts so no one can see inside of the hand. Okay, the left hand. Uh, and that hand moves completely up here to the neck immediately. Uh, sorry, immediately to the neck. Uh, and don't turn your hand because then people might see the coin from here. So just like this, immediately up to my neck. Secondly, make sure that your right hand acts as if it's holding something. This is a very important thing when you do magic. You have, uh, have to be able to act things out. So, so in this case, if I pretended to take the coin and I did this, or spread my fingers. It wouldn't look like I was holding a coin. Um, so what I do is I pretend to take the coin and I act as if my hand is doing the exact same thing as the left hand. My right hand is doing the same thing as the left hand. So, and then I act as if I hold my, my the coin in my hand. Um, I don't even have time to really look at it. I just go immediately down to my elbow and then I start rubbing. And as I do that, I let go of the coin in my neck, uh, in my neck, on my neck, okay, like this. and. A good point here is to be sweaty. If you can be sweaty, maybe do 10 push-ups or run around the house before you do this. Or just, like, it's normal when you do magic, especially if you're not used to performing, you will get sweaty naturally. But practice this. Maybe you could put some lotion on the neck or something. Uh, so as soon as I rub my hand, my, uh, my left hand leaves the coin on the neck, not out here so people can see it, but in the back of my neck, okay, like this. And then I start rubbing, and then I go, ah, human piggy bank, whoa, and the coin's gone. And immediately, I don't give people time to come and examine and, and look and see, oh, did, does he really have a piggy bank in his arm or something like that? I, I, I just go, oh, and the coin's gone, and I just show my hands. I don't go, look at my empty hands, and or oh, because then people will start asking questions. But I just go, wait, human piggy bank. And then I say, and as soon as I want the, the money back, I just go down and I grab the skin. And I say that, I, I, just, I just grab my skin, uh, and I pretend to pull something out. And as I do that, this is this is cover for me actually doing the dirty work with my left hand up here, because I'm gonna take the coin again from my neck in a second. Uh, but if I say, look, if I just pinch my skin, I look down and everyone else will look down at my elbow so I can just put my hand on the coin where I left it before and grab it with my thumb again. So I say, I pull my skin and, and then I stop, because uh, no coin comes out, of course, and I'm like, uh, and I say, uh, uh, oh, sorry, that's where the coin goes in. This, and then I lift up my elbow and I look over here, and when I do that, everyone will look at that elbow. So I say, this is where the coin comes out. And then my hand just slides out, and remember, you're hiding a coin very secretly here. So my hand wants to move over here really fast, just to in a fluid motion. And I say, this is where I pull out the coin, and I just start rubbing, and I just, um, my thumb pushes on the coin so my fingers can slide back. And then I go, whoa, and this is where I pull the coin out. Makes perfect sense. And then I hand the coin to the spectators. This was the human piggy bank or the coin in elbow. This is a wonderful magic trick and you can really surprise people by doing this. But there's two things I want to mention when it comes to magic. Okay, so the first thing is practice, practice, practice. I keep saying this in these videos. Go in front of the mirror or put up your camera phone or your computer or whatever and film yourself doing this. Because then you can see if, if you can see what's going on in the video, like if you can see the coin through your fingers or, or when you put it on your neck or something, then everyone else will be able to see it as well. So practice and make sure that you can do this perfectly before you show it to your friends, family, coworkers, whatever. The second thing I want to talk about is don't spoil the effect. When you've done this and if you perform it correctly and people are amazed, they will say, I really want to know the secret. I'll pay you money. I'll walk your dog. I'll shine your shoes up. Ah! Because they really want to know the secret of how this is done if you actually fooled them. Don't tell them. I know. It, it, it feels like you really, really want to be nice to people and you want to say, oh, look, this is the only thing I did. This was so easy. <laughs> and I tricked you. But don't do that. Because the only thing you get out of that is like blowing up a balloon, handing it to a person and then popping it again. It's a very, very sad feeling. They just had, if you did this right, they just had a really strong magical moment. This is the cool thing about magic. You create special moments for people where they go, what? Because you rocked their world or maybe showed them something they didn't think was possible. If you give them that small gift, 
and then immediately take it away again, then it will be really flat and you will get a really, really bad reaction out of it as well. Because if you tell people what you just did, then they won't be impressed with what you did. So you actually lose the feeling of actually giving some, someone a special gift. So uh, just keep that in mind. So two things, practice a lot, keep the secret to yourself and uh, enjoy. One thing to remember when practicing this, take breaks so you don't accidentally absorb the coins into your bloodstream. Cause that's, re oh, sorry, that's a joke. <laughs> Can't happen. Sorry, I'm just feeling really lonely these days. Please write me in the comment section. Just write something, send help. Okay, candy, better yet, better yet, send candy. This was COVID Magic Camp. My name is Kim Anderson. I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll teach you something awesome. It might even be the best video yet.